the earliest washing machine simply carry out a washing action when loaded with clothes and soap filled with hot water and started. Over time, machine become more and more automated, first with very complex electromedical controllers, then fully electronic controllers. Users put clothes into the machine, select a suitable program via a switch, start the machine and come back to remove clean and slightly damp clothes at the end of the cycle. machine require a drive mechanism which is capable of imparting high rotational speed to the spinner basket during the drying cycle and imparting the required tumbling action or agitated action during the washing cycle. In addition, many machines are designed to provide different speed of the agitator to provide a gentle or a vigorous washing action at the selection of the operator. people have a microwave in their own house but most of them does not know how it is work the secret is this device known as a magnetron the magnetron consists of two permanent magnets flanking a copper rings the ring has a copper rod in the middle a filament made of tungsten and thorium coils around the road. Between the road and the ring is a vacuum. The copper is a cathode or negatively charged electrode. The copper ring is an anode and positively charged electrode. An electric field exists between these two electrons when we turn the microwave on. A current runs through the filament. Negative charged electrons travel through it generating a lot of heat. Eventually, the filaments get so hot that electrons boil off the surface, so to spill because there is a vacuum between the cathode copper root and the anode copper ring. Those boil of electrons are easily propelled by the electric field attracted to the positive anode. This is where the magnet comes in the north end of one of the magnet's face, the sort end of the second so the copper ring and the road are inside the magnet field created between these two magnets this magnetic field bends the path of the electrons moving from the filament to the copper ring called the Lorentz force this force causes 
those electrons to spiral as they leave the filaments forming a shot of pinwell in the vacuum. The tips of this pinwell and a negative charge concentrated the, their pass over groove cut into the inner surface of the copper ring at regular internal as the negative charge comes and goes across the mouth of each groove. It creates electromagnetic wave inside the groove of a very particular frequency a microwave. An antenna direct those microwave into a waveguide which then delivers them to a chamber where the food is the microwave marsh. Doorbell use a specialized source of electromagnet called a solenoid. A solenoid is just an electromagnet where the cord wire surrounds a metal piston. The piston contains magnetically conductive metal so it can move backward or forward by the electromagnetic field. The solenoid piston consists of an iron core mounted to a non-magnetic metal bar. When there is no power to the electromagnet, a spring pushes the piston to the left and the iron core extends outside the wire coil. When you turn the electromagnet on by pressing the doorbell button, the iron core is drawn to the magnetic field so it slides into the center of the cord wire. As the iron core slides to the right, the end of the piston strikes the right hand tone bar. The tone bar vibrates producing a particular note. This is the ding sound. When you hold the doorbell button, current will flow through the electromagnet and the piston will remain in this position. But when the button is released, the current will stop flowing through the electromagnet and the magnetic field will collapse. The spring snaps the piston back to the left where it hits the tone bar on the other side produce the dong sound. For an electronic doorbell, it doesn't have any electromagnet or tone bar. Instead, it has an integrated circuit IC that register when the button has been pressed. The IC triggers a digitally recorded song or message. A lot of electronic doorbells have a wireless control system, so the doorbell mechanism doesn't have to be specially wired.